Welcome to the Purdue Library's tutorial on the QZAP Zine Archive Database. This tutorial will cover an overview of the database, how to narrow down search results, and other helpful tools. You may wonder why you should use the QZAP Zine Archive Database. This database was started in November of 2003 to preserve queer zines and make them available to anyone who has an interest in DIY publishing and underground queer communities. It is a free online database that makes it easy for users to view and download electronic copies of zines. To get started, let's go to the Purdue Library's website at www.lib.purdue.edu. Next, click on the database link underneath the search box. This will link to a full list of databases available through the Purdue Libraries. To find the QZAP Zine Archive, go to the Q section, scroll down to the title, and click on the link. First, let's take a look at the main page. You may notice that it looks a little different than other databases you might have used. However, like other databases, it does have a couple of options for searching, basic and advanced. Unlike other databases, if you are wanting to search for a subject, keyword, or topic, you will want to use the basic search. If you would like to search for a specific place, zine title, or creator, you can use either the basic or advanced search options. For today's search, we are going to use the basic option and search for music. This will bring back 30 results. While this isn't a huge number of items to go through, we can filter the results to narrow them down a bit further. If you look to the right side of the screen, just above the results, you will see the filter option. If you click on that, you will see a bar appear that will list ways you can filter the results. For today, let's filter the results to the place of Chicago, Illinois. This will narrow the list down to two. From here, you can review the list to see which zines will help with your research. Once you find one that fits, click on it to open. Once the page is open, you can use the arrow buttons at the bottom to navigate through the zine. If you want to download a copy of the zine, you can click on the little save icon to download. You may also notice that there is information about the zine listed over to the left side of the screen. This can be used to find additional items to help with your research. For instance, you can click on a keyword or creator to find additional zines. There are also suggestions for related zines at the bottom. One last tip, if you are looking for more information about QZAP, you can visit their blog at qzap.org. The blog helps to highlight different zines, creators, or topics that are related to the Queer Zine Archive project. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. If you are looking for other databases that are similar to QZAP Zine Archive, here are a couple to try.